Okay, hello guys, Blueberry CSGO here. Today I have a video for you. It is five sort of uncommon tips and or tricks for the map cache. Now, these aren't the most difficult or, you know, demanding tricks ever, but hopefully I can teach you something new and you can improve your game when playing cache. So let's jump straight into the clips. Okay, so the first clip here is a series of boosts you can do on the A site of cache. Now there are so many positions you can boost up on. Here I just show two or three I think. So here's one to see into main and squeaky. The next one's at quad. Here you can see all the way down highway if you're looking to defend a site. And you can also see over into main. If you've got someone controlling mid, you can also jump up here and get a nice shot into main as well. It's just nice to change up the, uh, the boosts that you're on so they never expect you to be in the same place twice. The next is another boost. This one's on the B site. I think a lot of people nerf this boost, but they tend not to really use it, which uh, which is understandable because you know it can be quite difficult to get there. Um, often if the T's are just going to rush, then you're going to be shafted, so maybe smoke that one first. But if you can get this one to work, then it's really helpful because if somebody is setting up uh, like smokes or grenades or anything from there, which you'll see later, uh, it can be very useful just to jump up here and kill them before they can do that. Next is uh, the mid counter boost. I'm sure a lot of you will know this, but it's again, it's just really underused and I think that people should use it more often. So we're gonna, we're gonna spread the awareness. I mean, it's just fantastic. If you've got them going A, then you can counter boost up here. You can get anyone if they're setting up smokes there. You can go into main and shoot them in the back. Or you can even go up to squeaky if you want as well. Now the next is a series of grenades to help you take the B-bomb site. Uh, you'll very, very often find somebody sitting on headshot. So what you can do is shoot out the glass there and then just chuck a molly in that position. And you can also chuck a nade to follow up. As you can see, that'll burn anyone sitting there. It goes quite far back as well, so they can't really get away from it too easily. And then here's a flash for when you're ready to take the bomb site. As you can see, you have very little time to respond to it. I'm very impressed if any of you actually saw that first time around. But um, yeah, it's a very nice pop flash. It makes it very easy to take the site when they're all flashed. Now the next is a is a wall bang. This one is to get anyone playing at car on the CT side. So this one's a bit more difficult to line up really. Uh, it depends how far out they like to play on car, but here's just sort of a standard way to line it up. And it's a bit of an awkward one. You're gonna have to play it by a uh, bit, you know, just eyeball it a little. So you wanna come up to this dark line here. And you can sort of see there's some vertical dark lines. You wanna go to the third one along and find that little white dot. You just shoot a little to the left of it. You can get anyone playing like tight on the corner at car. You can shoot at the dot if they sort of play further out. But if you sort of spam around there a little bit, you'll eventually hit them. Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful or learned anything, I'd really appreciate it if you slapped a like and maybe even subscribed. You know, that'd be that'd be a nice little surprise. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.